Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today I'm sharing with you an Aldi haul. I have not been in Aldi in forever. And I felt like every time I went in, the prices were just going up, up, up. And that's the case again today. However, I think I got a lot more stuff than my previous Kroger hauls. But I save a lot more money at Kroger, if that makes sense, depending on what it is. Because you can get name brands a lot of times really low. But um, today's haul was, oh, we just watched it climb higher and higher. It was $2.84 when it was all said and done. So hopefully, like our Kroger hauls haven't lasted us a full week. I'm hoping that this Aldi haul will extend through the week and last us a bit longer because I did pick up extra stuff today. Um, plus, I pick up more when we're in person. But I'm going to share the um, grocery haul with you and I'm going to share the meal plan. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we will start over here. I got four loaves of bread, I think. You guys like when I say the prices. I think these were $1.29 each um, for each loaf of bread. The whole wheat was $1.79. So I just picked up this, the split wheat. I don't know the difference. Um, other than the other has a little bit more wheat in it. This uh, bagels we picked up, I don't remember the price. I think they're like $1.79 there. These are actually a lot lower. These used to be like really expensive in Aldi these carb control things and I usually get the protein ones but these were actually only like $2.99 so I've seen them as high as $6 at Walmart I picked up fries they were $2.69 I picked up a bag of those I can't remember exactly on the popcorn chicken I have actually got this one in the oven making KFC bowls this is actually I want to say $6 and something for this bag the buffalo chicken strips are actually cheaper at Aldi. These used to be higher. This is one of the items that came down in price at ours um, this past year. So these are actually cheaper than the other stores. So this is like $6.99 for those. Then I, this is actually pricey, but they don't have any generic mashed potatoes from the Aldi brand. So this was $3.99, but I needed them for like, we're gonna make the KFC bowls. Um, picked up ice cream. It's always the same there. It's like $2.29 or something. Um, picked up French toast sticks. It was two, two something. Corn dogs. We just picked those up for, you know, I've got growing boys. They like to have stuff. Gavin gets really excited when there's like food in the freezer. So I picked up corn dogs. Picked up the cheese. I don't remember the price. I can't remember if it was $5.99 for that. This was $6.19, I believe. Um, the individual packs were like $2.89 but you only got um I think six ounces in them so this was a 20 ounce I think it was $6.19 for this so I picked up that one I want to create something out of that this I didn't need but I really like this thick cut cheese it kind of reminds me of the Tillamook if you've ever had that Tillamook cheese that's like kind of pricey so I picked it up the generic butter I don't even wanted to talk about the butter you guys <laughs> So many people fuss about imperial margarine. And anyway, I picked it up. Do you for your family. Do what you do. <laughs> I'm going to pick that up for baking. Um, fries I picked up. I picked up some bologna. Bologna is actually more expensive there. However, this is a pretty big pack. This is a pound. So this is $3.69 there. Um, I usually pick up the generic for $1.69 at Kroger. I got some cheese. This was actually cheaper. This is like $4.69 for each of the 16 ounces. This was $2.99 for the sausage. Picked it up. I got these for me uh, just because they're easy. So I've got cans, but I like, you do get less than these, but you don't have to sit and drain it, and they've got seasoning in them. So I got those. I think those are like 89 cents. And I picked this up. I think these are $2.69 there. These are my favorites. These are like $4 and something at the other stores. So very happy to be back to get those. Then picked up two things of biscuits just to have on hand for biscuits and gravy. Ryan likes to make that for the kids. The kids love cinnamon rolls. That's Tanner. It's his favorite thing. So I picked those up. I got a crescent roll just to go with dinner one night. So there is that side. Over here, I cannot remember the price of eggs this time. It was like we were in a hurry. I know that they weren't that expensive. This I always pick up. This is a little over $2.00. I think this is like $1.69 for the bacon bits. So I picked them up because they're going to go in a recipe. Picked up two things of milk. And you guys, I didn't see a sign on this today. I picked it up though. The almond milk, I always pick up. They are usually cheaper for almond milk at Aldi. It's like a dollar. It used to be $1.89. Orange juice is $3.99. So regardless, or no, $3.69 for this. 
which I still think that's the better of the orange juices. Pricey. I did notice the, the whipping cream. I was going to pick up whipping cream because there were those eggs. I still haven't found the salsa matcha at any of our locations. Nobody has salsa matcha um, at the Walmarts or anywhere. I've went to two different locations. I've looked at Kroger. I know Aldi wouldn't have it. Um, so I may have to go. There is like a uh, Mexican grocery store. So I may have to go in there and see if they have it in there. Um, but I was going to get whipping cream. And oh my gosh, whipping cream was $5.19 for a container. I'm used to that at the other stores, but not at Aldi. So I just picked up half and half to have because I like to make like the cold foam on coffee. So I got that. And this is one of my favorite things that Aldi has. And don't judge, you guys, if you've never had this. Ryan even ate one of these one day. These are so, so good, and they do not taste like kale. Um, these are just good. And these are one of those seasonal things that they, like, run specials on. I think they're, like, $3.99 for those. Got the fake cheese for the kids. These, I can't remember how much these were, like $2.19, I think. They also had some Hershey ones on special for $2.49, I think, for a bag um, in the special aisle. Then got some string cheese got some Greek yogurt. This was actually $4.49 this week, I think. So this was actually way less because it was, what, $7 at Kroger last week. This I picked up. It's like $4.49. Apple cider vinegar. I picked up chicken broth, cookies. Um, I picked up some of these. Actually, Lainey put these in the buggy because she loves those. Vinegar we washed all the fruits with. Picked up Cheez-Its. This was $2.49. It's a baby box. I do think your cereal deals are better at Kroger and other stores, but I just picked these up just to have. This, I have no idea why I picked this up. It was $1.89. Not that that was a great deal, but the Funfetti cake mix was in the like St. Patrick's Day aisle and the Funfetti ice cream. So I just thought it was fun. I don't know. Then I picked up some fake Ritz crackers. This has already been gotten into. Those are like a dollar something. This is $2.99. Pick those up for me. Bacon was actually $3.99, I think, there. I mean, they have the lower sodium. Chicken, I picked up a pack of this. It was $2.49 a pound. Not the best. Uh, Kroger is actually $1.99. Then I picked up peanuts. These are $4.69, I think, in there, or $4.19. So I got some of those for the dishwasher. I rarely buy those. We got some fake Oreos. Got some macaroni and cheese just to have on hand, just because it's easy. Sandwich bags, storage bags. The dogs, we haven't bought dog treats in forever, so I picked those up because they're like $2.49 there. Okay, guys, sorry, my battery died. I had to switch cameras because I forget to charge them. So over here in Chip Corner, I don't think I went over this. I got pub pretzels. Lainey picks up the veggie chips. The sour cream and onion chips the nacho cheese chips i still you guys let me know if your aldi has the cool ranch version because i don't know why but ours has stopped selling it like over a year ago and like ryan despises the nacho cheese chips the kids love them but he likes the cool ranch and they don't carry them there and only on seasonal buys only every so often will they carry those um we started buying these i think i told you guys this a million times these tortilla strips these are actually like $4.19 for that big bag, but it's a bigger ounce. So you get more for your money than buying two bags of tortilla chips. And they actually taste way, way better than the regular ones in there, in my opinion. Um, then we got some ranch seasoning packets. But this is one thing I never can find in there. You guys, if you've been around, you know I always get taco seasoning. I'm addicted. Got some of this just because this was the same price as the regular. And they also had the chocolate kind, but I like the extra creamy. Parmesan cheese. Um, this was a fun find. I haven't seen this in there. This Asiago cheese, everything bagel. We've got the jalapeno. We've got like all kinds of flavors of this. This was one I hadn't seen. So I thought that would be fun because I love cheese. Then I got this for Gavin because he likes this. He ate this at my mom's a long time ago and he has asked different times for me to buy it. I will not eat this. This is nasty to me, but this was like on special and they had maple flavored. So I got that for him because he'll eat it for breakfast. Okay, so then I picked up garlic salt because we have tons of garlic powder. I'm out of it. Picked up Italian seasoning. Picked up some black beans. Just went ahead and picked up refried beans because why not? This is something I've been out of forever. So I picked up green chilies. One of my favorite things at Aldi. 
But I think that is finally it with this side also. So let's go to the other side now. So over here, blackberries this week, I think they were $1.49. So we picked up two blackberries. Raspberries were $2.49. These looked beautiful. The kids were like disgusted by it. But these were so fresh. All of their mushrooms were super fresh this week. So we picked up one of those just to have. Me and Ryan love the mushrooms. The kids hate them. Onions. Avocados are always cheap there. Picked up a bag of those. You guys, I love this salad mix. All the other salads looked rotten. Like, so this was actually like $2.99. I love these kits. I prefer them and I would rather buy them because I know I'll eat them than just like buy the other lettuce and it sit in the fridge and nobody eats it. Um, got two bags of the Honeycrisp apples because we were out of them. I think these were three, three something for the three pound bag. Grapes. Okay. I was so excited about this. Look at this. Um, these little grapes rang up. You have to weigh your own stuff in there. Like we do the self checkout so I can bag my stuff myself. So we rang the grapes up and it said to weigh it on the scale and it rang up for a penny. I was like, there's no way. We did it again and it rang up a penny. I was like, wow. Well, when they came over, cause my, my like register went off because of like they were out of tape or something. So I told the people and they were like, that's okay. They took the other one off and they said, you're good. But I just felt kind of bad till we rang it up. And it was 549. <laughs> but at first I was, I was like, man, it was way better when it was two cents. Um, they said that it's been happening a lot with the registers. Then I got two things of broccoli. Ryan actually took one over and cleaned it. Got some sweet potatoes so I can put in my cabinet and pretend like I'm going to eat them. And then I got bananas. So, whew, what a haul. And there's like, I told you I was cooking the chicken. So, all of this produce, guys. All of this side here. And all of this humongous side was 284 and last but not least is the meal plan. I don't know why I didn't write anything down there. This is just, I know I have the beautiful board on my fridge, but I never put it up. So, um, I'll just start with Monday. It's not in the order that you're going to see this. It's not in the day of the week that it is. Um, so Monday is crock pot chili and sandwiches. Um, then KFC chicken bowls and crescent rolls or something to go with it. Marry me chicken and probably mashed potatoes and green beans, Big Mac french fries. This was something new that looked really fun and it was an all together type of meal and it was actually in the macro friendly plan. Bacon cheeseburger sloppy joes. I mean, I didn't put anything here because I was trying to figure out. So I'll probably make, I've got buffalo chicken. So I'll probably do like buffalo chicken there. I've also thought about making the brenner if I can find the salsa, salsa matcha stuff and make like brenner for that i also thought about making pork chops because we have like all these recipes and i keep saying i'll make pork chops i've yet to make the pork chops or um i might make tater tot casserole i'm not sure yet but just some ideas there it'll be something easy um but there is the meal plan guys i wanted to share this not sponsored but vivor i actually have their hat press i have other products from them they have everything you could ever imagine on their website you could look for you need they have like specialty kitchen equipment they have specialty like stuff for businesses for um tools i mean like everything is on there like crafting like, you name it they have everything um industrial equipment like i have um the hat press from them they have heat press they have all kinds of stuff so anyway what i need i have so many transfers i have so much like stuff going on with like paper mess and I was like, I need something to help me with that. And so they had reached out and I was like, can I get, like, can I try out uh, the mail organizers? Because I have some from Michaels. They're not my favorite. They're like almost like particle board in a way. They're flimsier. They break. This is the real stuff, you guys. And these have interchangeable shelves so you can make them thinner, smaller, whatever you want. This is perfect. This is like the smaller version. They have like ones that are really big. This one was... A smaller um, one. I don't know if this is a 17 compartment one, but anyway, this is super sturdy. So, very excited about this. I'll show it after I put it down in my office and show you. But look at all this, like interchangeable. If you're looking for an organizer for your business, for your home, for just personal use, like this is awesome. Also, I'm going to show you the other thing. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Like, I can cry. And Gavin put all this together for me because it takes me way too long. It didn't take him that long to do those, but you know what I mean? Like little details and stuff take forever. So you guys, I have never had an office chair ever. Like we've got, bought our kids gaming chairs. We bought desk chairs. We bought everybody else a chair in our life. I've never had an office chair ever. 
And I have my office set up downstairs and I sit like I don't I don't like sitting, but I sit a lot where I have to do computer work for printing and stuff and I have to watch the printer. And so I'm constantly there and I don't have a chair. And I don't have a chair. I don't have a normal chair. I have like an old fold-up chair from the 70s. So this was from Vivor. Isn't it beautiful? Like they have all kinds of options. But look at this. Like my kids were fighting over it because they wanted it. It even has this little pillow, this leather. I mean, look at the details to this. And then it's got this recliner. So not like a huge recliner, but you know what I mean? Like you can prop your feet up and then it rests back under there. Isn't that awesome? Like, and it glides really well because I've had some like in this house that break, like that are super flimsy materials, super flimsy chairs and they bust like literally Gavin's, <laughs> Gavin's been through, I don't know how many chairs in his life that Zoe in the corner. But isn't this absolutely stunning? Like I'm in love. Like I've never been so excited for a chair in my entire life. But like if you're looking for an office chair or a gaming chair or whatever you want to call it, like, isn't it beautiful? I'm going to link them both down below for you guys. Okay, my friends, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Say hey in the comments. And you guys, I appreciate you all. Love you all. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.